hi friends what's this window here is a entry box we have to minimum enter some character and I, we must agree to the terms and conditions or I agree button whatever you say and this button is in disable condition this button submit button will be enabled once I click this agree and here minimum three characters I have to enter so once I enter it then this button became enabled now I can this will again disable if I fail to satisfy any one of the condition so you can see it's two characters are disabled now again it is enabled we'll see how to develop this we'll start from here this is a blank window we can just run this and see how this looks here it is only the la one label here it is at line number six we have placed it and to this we'll add the entry and then uh, check button and then we'll go for the button so first e1 it is the entry hours so tk dot entry now parent window is my underscore w slightly background will keep it yellow because uh, slightly prominently it will be visible slightly higher size font 20 now one more thing text variable because it's an input and we will use the trace method so for that we will use a text, uh, text variable str1 which you have not declared it now we will declare that one str1 equal to tk dot string bar so this variable we have connected to the entry box which will be monitoring for any changes so that accordingly will trigger the function okay now let's place it on the grid e1 dot grid it is at the top so along with the right of the label so row equal to 0 and column equal to 1 because our label is here at it is label is column 0 so we are given column 1 because uh, we want right of it so now fine now what you will do is this e1 will use a stress method str1 dot stress this method will monitor if the variable is changed the moment we add a data to the our entry box or change anything this function will trigger the uh, will trigger and uh, execute a function a callback function so i am telling the callback function is my check which we have not declared so far we will try that one now that's all our entry box is ready now my check means let me just uh, put the bot define it and define my check percent uh, all the arguments will pass and pass so now it is ready so to this we'll add our check button because uh, one button is already we have placed it here you can see it here button is there one more check button only we will be adding so let's add the check button and then we'll see how it looks so for that c1 this is our check button c1 equal to tk dot string var now this string var sorry this is not uh, we are giving for check button check button now parent window is my underscore w now text i am writing a text i agree you can write anything whatever you want agree to terms and condition whatever you want to text write it now here also one variable i am setting so variable equal to c1 checkbox1 underscore b1 you can give any name so this i am giving it because we will be using this variable again this c1 v1 i have to declare it so let me just okay we'll go for a few more parameters we'll fix this one on value means whenever check button is checked then what should this variable will carry yes then off value whenever check button is not checked what should be value this is the blank now command this command is whenever we change the value it should trigger the function we know already we have my check so this it should trigger now again slightly bigger font i am giving 24 so this is this is over now but c1 v1 we have not declared this particular variable we will declare it now c1 underscore v1 equal to tk dot string var this is a string variable so if i okay from my parent window i am just giving but not necessary by default it takes that so and we are setting this value also c1 underscore b1 dot set directly i can write the value also while declaring set it to i am giving it to a blank that's all now let's just see this how this one looks if there is no error yeah 
but where is oh so i have not used the not placed it in a grid so check button is not visible let me place it on a grid c1 dot grid row equal to 1 because my button is at row 2 so above the button row 1 and column also 1 let it aligned with the entry box column equal to 1 now slightly sticky i am using c k y sticky equal to now say west so towards the left side let it aligned so that's all now let's just see how the it looks yeah here it is all the things are there now by default the button is disabled because here you can see the state equal to disabled we have mentioned and nothing now no functionality because we have not programmed it yet we'll write the code here inside our function so first let's set a flag will say my flag why you are creating the flag is this is what the flag status will monitor at the end if anywhere this uh, very this validation fails then the flag will set it to false or uh, it will set will change the status now if you add more components to this also this flag will help so initially let's put it false so and this uh, value at the end will monitor now what i am going to do is first monitoring the status of our uh, uh, entry how many characters are entered there so we'll say e1 e1 is our entry box dot get get will get and this len function will count the number of characters there so if it is less than three then what it will do it will set the sorry it will set the flag to i am writing in a one line in the if condition my flag i'll set it to true now this is true means this there is a validation has failed so now we'll say uh, okay writing a comment here minimum three car for entry minimum three car for entry okay now one more second condition is what about the check button so c1 underscore v1 this is the variable we are connecting that value will get it by the gate so if it is not equal to yes what you are saying is not equal to yes now in this case the set the flag to true means check button is not checked so we'll set it my flag equal to true so now these two can any one of the condition is failed this flag will become true but initially we set it to false okay now let's the final one now we'll check the what's the uh, flag value and accordingly the button state will change if now i am saying my flag not equal to true means the validation is cleared there, there is not no, all the three characters are entered and uh, my checkbox is checked all the things are true then in this case i am saying b1 b1 is the bottom one config by config i can change any attribute so i will change it to from the state is normal uh, i'll make it normal you can just see here we have here we have mentioned the state is default uh, default state is disabled so we kept the button as disabled now we'll change this particular one to normal or so you can click it so i am saying state equal to normal now one more thing slightly background also because by default the background we have kept it where it yeah you can see here the button background is light yellow now let's change it to something because it is enabled now so we'll change it to light uh, green now what happened once something has checked fine but what happens if he unchecks if the user unchecks it or delete a character from the entry box so it falls below the three in that case we'll keep it in a else condition else now what i will do instead of writing all the thing from here i will uh, okay else b1 config here i'll just copy this paste it here b1 coming state state is equal to disabled because if it, uh, it is failed that a flag has failed my flag is equal to true because any of these lines line number seven and eight, anything can make it true any one is true it will make it true uh, it will be true now so state is disabled and big uh, background whatever uh, original was light yellow will keep it that's all so anywhere it is becoming true now this uh, any, these two conditions here anywhere it became true now this condition will 
false so uh, state will be disabled and light yellow it will the background color will change so these are this function will be triggered once i am here you can see where is my yeah so variable now this command is there for my check button so check button it will trigger my check and any time i am changing because i am using a trace method so my where is my entry here is my entry you can see text variable is equal to str1 and str1 trace method i have used to trigger it so trigger the function on change so any time the variable is changed this function is called so fine now here also it's now let's just it's time to test it let's check once here it is now this you just see this button is in disable condition i will press i agree okay but still it is not enabled because i have not entered three character a b c now it is enabled and see the color is also changed to light green you see the light line number nine it is given as light green so it has changed now anything i fail it suppose i remove this check button then uh, now the value has changed so it has again the else condition will make it disabled again i will check it or i will if i'll remove one character also this became disabled that's all friends this is how you can add up more components also along with the check button so same flag you can more if conditions here you can extend the if condition if you have more such widgets in that and uh, that's all and extend it and you can also manage the colors everything the button state size everything can be managed that's all friend uh, request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we post it we more such tutorials will post frequently also and if you have any doubt suggestion question and how to extend it on anything use the comment section below to post it and thank you for watching